This is Rashid. Rashid just finished his SPM. But Rashid is deaf. He doesn't know where to further his study, since there are not many schools offer courses for deaf person. Rashid is in dilemma. Can you help him? Don't worry if you ever faced this situation before. I am Nur Hazawani, one of a lecturer connecting with the deaf in Polytechnic Kota Kinabalu. Polytechnic Kota Kinabalu are the first polytechnic in Sabah, which is located in KKIP Spangar. The best things about Polytechnic Kota Kinabalu is we offer an opportunity for deaf students to further their study and program the Hotel and Catering Skills Certificate, which can be completed within two years. Deaf students exposed to skills such as food preparation, housekeeping, laundry, bakery and pastry, restaurant operation and entrepreneurship. They are also given an overview of the working environment through industrial training as preparation to face the real working world. <laughs> Teaching a deaf student required a special skill. Lecturer must adapt to each classroom of student and working with deaf or hard of hearing student requires some modification to traditional teaching method. What do I need to know about having a deaf student in my class? Why must I know it? Deafness is often described as a silent disability because it's, it is not noticed, not visible, and not discussed. In education setting, miscommunication can result in poor grades. Educators can be unaware that students have not heard the correct instruction and mislabel children with hearing loss as a lazy or stupid. How will the deaf student know what I'm saying? One suggested strategy is to minimize walking and talking. Talk from the same location and get attention before speaking. Similarly, give as much information about the lesson at the start of the class to reduce the possibility of deaf students missing out on instruction later in the class when they are doing an activity. How can I communicate effectively? First, Gain attention. Gently touch the arm or shoulder. It's okay to flick the light on and off, to tap on a table or to wave the gain attention. Second, face each other. Face the student and maintain eye contact. Don't turn away to point at anything when you're speaking. The student needs to able to see your mouth. Don't cover with the scarf, hand, or foot. Third, use facial and body expression. It's okay to point. Do not use exaggerated mind or facial expression. Keep at a distance of between one and two meters for one-to-one -one communication. Fourth, avoid background noise. If possible, to move to quiet area or reduce the noise. TV, radios, people talking in the background may interfere the deaf ability to understand. Fifth, speak clearly. Do not shout. Speak at a normal or slower pace and keep your volume up but natural. And the last one. Repeat, repaste or write down key message to help with communication. Use diagram and handout. Being deaf or hard of hearing affects people in a various way. 
However, in all cases, many communication problems can be reduced by ensuring the environment is acoustically friendly. Hmm, let's learn simple sign language so that we can communicate better. Hello. Good morning. How are you? Yes. No. Correct. Wrong. Thank you. You are welcome. In conclusion, teaching a deaf student is not as hard as you think, as long as you know the right skill and technique to deal with them. For lecture with hearing loss or deaf, the right adjustment to the classroom environment combined with advanced teaching methods and the lecture commitment could mean the difference between a student, success and failure. This is the main purpose for this video, to create awareness toward deaf students. Hopefully by watching this video, it could help us to understand the deaf culture and how to communicate with them. Thank you. Bye.